Let me transition to a story that's been percolating that I feel obligated to touch on because it involves my colleague at ESPN, Mr. RG3, and a beef he's gotten into with his former head coach in Washington, Mr. Jay Gruden. Because evidently they've been going back and forth with one another uh, recently because Jay Gruden initiated the discussions by tweeting out saying, if I ever put a quarterback through what Philly is putting Jalen through, as in Jalen Hurts, I apologize. Pick up a blitz. Which Robert Griffin III, RG3, responded to by taking a selfie with the caption. Say what? You can see it. It's all there. Okay. And that ultimately sparked the conversation of back and forth. Gruden answered back. You weren't prepared, Robert. RG3 expressed it in his rebuttal. You told me you didn't know how to coach a quarterback who could throw and run like me, so it looks like you weren't prepared, Jay. That's what he said. That's what he said. So we got to take that into consideration and see that for what it is, okay, and go from there. And they've been going back and forth ever since, and RG ultimately decided to invite Jay Gruden on his podcast. By the way, his podcast, RG3 and the Ones, presented by Wave Sports and Entertainment. So RG3 invited his old coach, say, wasn't going to cuss him out, wasn't going to disrespect him, wasn't going to call him out his name, but he was going to be factual and unapologetic with his facts. Here's a taste of what RG3 is saying you can look forward to if Jay Gruden is willing to show up on his podcast. So if Jay Gruden really wants to talk, I'm not going to cuss the man out. I'm not going to call him outside of his name. But what I am going to do is tell you guys the truth. And the truth of the matter is there is a moment in D.C. that is vividly remembered. Jay Gruden went to a press conference and he undressed me at that press conference in a way that a coach should never undress his starting quarterback. It was after a game and I said in the press conference that the best players in the NFL have the guys around them play at an extremely high level. No one is out there doing it on their own. Now the, the media pundits and everyone took that and said, RG3 threw his teammates under the bus. And I had to eat that for a long time because Jay didn't back me in the media the next day. He doubled down on it uh, and, and actually picked me apart in the media. But what people don't know is that the only reason I went to that press conference and said what I said to challenge my teammates through that press conference was because Jay Gruden asked me to do that. What hurt me about that was the fact that after I did that in the press conference, not only did Jay Gruden not have my back, but he actually burned me with it. He came out the next day and burned me in the media. He came out the next day in a meeting in our team meeting room and burned me in front of my own teammates. Oh, by the way, of all the back and forth that RG3 and Gruden have been doing with one another, how about this one? Kirk Cousins was better than you. Ain't all he said, but damn, that one sentence does it. Kirk Cousins was better than you. Some people feel that way. My point is, were we saying that before RG3 got hurt? Were we saying that before RG3 got hurt? That's how I'm thinking. And Gruden going out like that, I mean, damn. Damn, bro. RG3 could have easily came back and said, well, there's 28 to 30 coaches in the NFL that were better than you at the time. He didn't do that. But I digress. Here's the problem. I'm not going to take sides here. That's between them. What I would say is, first of all, Jay Gruden, with the mess your brother got into, you would think that anybody with the last name Gruden would defer from speaking publicly and drawing attention to themselves. Not the wisest thing in the world. Not the wisest thing in the world. And I, and I personally love John Gruden, the coach, and I love the job that he did at ESPN, and I'm not going to throw shade on him just because he's going through the things that he's going through after these emails discovered how salacious and incendiary his comments were about a bevy of folks. Okay, I'm not going there. What I will say is that the Gruden name is persona non grata because of John Gruden with that. As it pertains to you, Jay Gruden, 
You had a 35 and 49 and one record as the head coach for the Washington, then Redskins, who are now the Washington Commanders. Your best season was a nine and seven season in 2015. That was your best record. You've had four losing seasons in six years, two winning records, one playoff appearance, not a single playoff victory. It's kind of unwise for you to be talking about RG3 and how he was unprepared. Because when you elevated Kirk Cousins, it didn't get you a playoff win. So let's keep that in mind, even though you won a division title. We have to keep that in mind. We also have to keep in mind and stop talking about RG3 like RG3 was some average brother. RG3 was a star in the making before Haloti Nada very nearly had his leg amputated for crying out loud because of that hit against Baltimore. We all know that if RG3 hadn't sustained and suffered that injury, RG3 would have been far better. We knew this brother could play. Let's stop talking about him like that. So for Jay Gruden to sit up there and say, you weren't prepared, you don't get to say that. We might have saw that from RG3 later on when he was virtually immobile, but we certainly couldn't say that about him when he first arrived in the league and took the NFL by storm. Stop that bullshit. Stop it. Let's get that out the way. Outside of that, when y'all roll up on each other, Hopefully, Jay Gruden will take RG3 up on his invitation. I wouldn't mind watching that podcast. RG3 and the Ones, presented by Wave Sports and Entertainment. I wouldn't mind seeing that. Not at all. Not at all. 